Good luck. This marks week 117 of the teaching ladder uh, we play on 81 Dojo. This should be good fun. So the idea is we get to play against a lower rated opponent and a higher rated opponent. And uh, after the game we get to do an analysis together and learn stuff together. So, mm -hmm. now that defends this point, which now enables a bishop exchange to occur. So I close this diagonal this time. Yeah, I'm learning theory. Woo. All right. And then I can activate my rook this way, and they push this pawn, and I could push my rook. Or I could block with the bishop here, and then eventually support this a different way and move the bishop around, and not having lift, not bother with the rook lift. Um, because lifting the rook is has its own dangers that it's prone to. Bishop, silver, 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 silver. It's this. Bishop, that's fine. I think this is playable. This looks interesting. We'll find out momentarily if I'm sadly mistaken. Yeah, let's maybe defend my king a bit. Hmm, there's no need to push that. At least as far as theory goes. Theory says don't bother. I always do push it, though. Hmm, let's try something different today. Mm hmm, okay. We'll complete this castle. And defend this point. Interesting. We might see one of my least favorite castles here. Mm -hmm. There it is. All right. Defend here. Hmm. This might be challenging. All right, what's my chat window look like? All right, so we're going to put up a proverb just for visual interest. There's always a move at the edge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this does block my silver. 
and I'm not a fan of it blocking the silver, but it does deny the opponent the use of this 5-5 five five square. And will allow my bishop to reroute at some point. But yeah, I don't really know. I mean, who does know how to move forward in a situation like this? I guess this does block my bishop. But I'm also wanting to claim some space mm -hmm. before my opponent takes it all. Okay. That's puzzling. Hmm. So now my bishop is active. Mm -hmm. It's a good patient move.
I mean, it's just not the greatest moment for me to be asking for an attack, but uh, I do like attacking to some degree. I don't understand. Well, let's unblock my rook. Okay. Hmm.
Well, I might and I probably end up doing the obvious thing here. Um, And then if this moves, maybe push the center pawn. Bishop takes, retreat the silver, and that's a fork. So... I'm not sure where that leaves us. That's an interesting point, too. They do have a pawn drop. Interesting. It's one heck of a tactical rook move. Um, yeah, Shogi's weird sometimes. Usually you would want to put a rook on the opponent's side of the board, but usually the rook would be capable of doing something inside a position. Here, um, being on the opposing side of the board, maybe I could take a knight. Maybe I could take a lance. Probably not. Who knows? Uh, mm -hmm. What we do know is that, um, yeah, so I could take this now. Or I could take my knight. I could, no. I mean, it's not great. Oh, this blocks the other bishop. 
Hmm. So I could just spend a nice calm move defending my position. Amidst the firestorm of nonsense, we see my calm move. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I guess I have to break out the secret weapon now. I guess that secret weapon doesn't work the way I thought. They can actually take it. I take back, they can drop it, I move here, they take one of they take my rook, I can take back. So I've not won material. But they do get a rook at that point, and it's kind of a hot mess. So yeah, this retreat. Actually this retreat activates the silver, so I can't exactly regret it. But, but perhaps I had better, like just moving this gold over to collect. No, I don't know. It's never simple. I did manage to activate the silver. They could exchange the silver for one of my rooks. Oh, that's weird. Why would you push that? I don't get it. Um, I mean, yeah, there's another fork, but I can just take this pawn. Perhaps we've gotten too creative? Or perhaps there's a tactic I'm missing. Hmm. I can't exactly let that float about taking all my pieces. So we're going to have to go down this path having not seen the end of it. Santu They do say, be careful what you wish for. My opponent got what he wished for. Because I forgot about this. But it's fine.
30秒40秒50秒30秒40秒50秒1234567秒。30秒40秒50秒1 2 3 430秒40秒50秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7八、九。
Only gradually does it dawn on me what all the problems are in this position. Mm -hmm. Didn't even see that one. Or rather, I saw it, which ran away from it, and it's still a problem. Sanjubio Interesting. Sanjubio. Sanjubio Yonjubio Sanjubio Sanjubio
40秒30秒。30秒。30秒。秒。50秒。1、2、3、4、5、6、7、8、9、10、秒。It took me a while to reach that conclusion. This actually encourages the horse to move closer to my castle, which normally would be a bad thing. But here might not be a bad thing. Well, how can I say no? All right. You've persuaded me. I'll take the piece. I'm walking into a fork, aren't I? <laughs>
Why did I walk into a fork? Oh, wait. Um, maybe it's... No, it's not fine. I mean, at least I get something for this fork. And this bishop was out of play. But, um... Hmm. Yeah, actually, a fork would not be the smartest idea for them there. Uh, this fork. Now that one has a sting. Mm -hmm. Our opponent only has one knight. I mean, what the hell am I going to do with the silver anyway, other than this? I can't afford to have my castle break in half here. Mm hmm. That makes sense. I mean, it loses a move, but in other respects, it makes sense. Let's take the knight. Mm hmm. Sanju couldn't figure that out. Maybe I had better. I don't know. Sanju 
40秒三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一。Oh. 30秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。Expert game. Well played. All right. Cool. That was something. Yeah. All right. So uh, one far fun part of the teaching ladder is that after every game we get to do an analysis. Um, so I'm probably gonna. Well, let's see what our opponent's comment is. Yeah, I guess I'll propose we take a look at this from the top. If that's fine. <laughs> yeah, all right, cool. Let's get underway then. All right, so yeah. Um, with the teaching ladder, we endeavor to learn something new each time we play. Um, 
And yeah, these look like some fairly typical moves, as best as I can tell. Uh, although, this shape is a little irregular, but it's fine. Um... Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I played this pawn advance idea that is a bit atypical, but uh, Giko likes it, but maybe it's not ideal in some sense. Um... So Giko's an engine, yeah. I've not seen this either. Um... Hmm. Yeah, so they're trying to either collect this pawn or having feigned a threat to do so to build some time, get some time to build a stronger castle. Um... This thing here. Yeah, so I don't know what that has to do with them building the castle in the corner. Either through like this or through like this. Um, but no, they're trying to win the pawn outright. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of ideas going on here. Um, Yeah, so move my silver uh, up and then in front of my bishop. That looks interesting. Uh. I'll try this out in future games because it does look interesting. If the opponent is making zero threats, this is a way to move forward. Granted, I've tried other crazy things with the silver, and those crazy things have failed, but this one doesn't look so crazy. Um, I've twice blocked the rook, but the rook can move. So, that's an interesting idea. Uh, so yeah, our opponent builds the castle in the corner. They'll be back. Yeah, this opponent sometimes has internet connectivity stuff. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a crucial moment, so when they come back, we'll look at this. So... This is probably what they wanted to look at anyway. So maybe, yeah, this would be a good timing to play that. Even though lots of stuff is about to happen. Yeah, I guess they play this or something. 
Um, and then I guess here maybe I move the rook. I'm not really sure. Or maybe I move it somewhere else, like there. These might be ideas. Because the rook's blocked. We saw in the game I tried to unblock my rook. Um, so they build a castle that uses all of their pieces. And they find it difficult to play the game. It's not easy for either player. Yeah. So that's why things were just challenging the whole game. I don't really know where I lost the thread. That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, they played some pretty... I don't know. Um... If I saw how I'd lose, I'd have played something else, which, um, I mean, definitely a truism there. Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, I kind of like this, because it blocks the bish the diagonal for the opponent's bishop. Uh, um... Actually, back here, uh, I'd probably do this first. Let's see, like, if the rook's going to try to stop me from going one way or the other. Or if they have any way to resist my attack in multiple directions. Um... It's not easy. Once you've built this thing in the corner, you've given up the other parts of the board. So tactics tend not to favor you. It's a difficult strategy to play. Um, especially if you've not completed this shape yet. Yeah. So it's it's hard. Um but maybe it's fine. Hmm. I do wonder maybe taking the night also might not be right. Um. Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, this seems like I'm just better here. <laughs> They'll be back. They usually are. Um, so, yeah, lots and lots of tactical shots are possible. Um, yeah. So many tactics, I just don't know. I mean... Yeah, he played some strange moves. Yeah. Uh, so that makes sense. Mystery solved. Oh yeah, I can give him the ability to host this. That's fine. At some point this does get over my head. Um, so I probably messed up here. Maybe this? I don't know. It's all a mess. Yeah, my rook is pressured. We still have this to worry about. Yeah. I thought I was fine throughout this, until suddenly I wasn't. But I don't know where. Something went wrong somehow, somewhen, somewhere. Yeah. It's kind of hard to say what exactly happened. This does look a bit safer, because this pawn is so far away from my castle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that freaking night drop is what got me. If I'd seen it coming, then maybe I could have prepared better for it. Maybe that's the one takeaway I have from this game. It's that, yeah, I should refine, uh, at least bear in mind that particular night drop, both defensively and offensively. And this is why the castle is formed in a certain move order. And now we know. Whereas previously we didn't know. Alright. Sure.
cool. Um, all right. So then we attack this bishop here and take the free pawn. Oh. So I thought this was just A-OK. -okay. I didn't really see any threat in this position. Um, but we saw that somehow I did manage to lose this game, so... Um, not sure, like, what happened. I did lose. I'm not sure how. <laughs> I mean, this is a retreating move, and retreating moves aren't great, but, like... Hmm. Yeah, maybe I just need to take this. I don't know. And then run away. This got complicated, and that's, I guess, why I avoid it. Okay, I guess point taken. Yeah. So my rook drop was much more ridiculous than I thought. Mm hmm. So, yeah, my rip drop just did not work. It would be one thing if there were a free bishop, but this one ain't free. Oh, right, so if we could pre prevent a free promotion. Um, hmm. Yeah. We're just one move off in all variations, which is the value of a silver is about a move in a lot of positions. So, my rook drop does the opposite of its intended purpose. And if I'd played something else, maybe I would have been fine. But... Hmm. Yeah, there's... 
it's quite possible. Like, while this here offers no potential, it's quite possible that using the rook to attack might have yielded something. Whereas this just doesn't yield anything ever. So, now we know. Yeah, so a couple things to bear in mind. One, the move ordering through which this is produced. And two, my rook drop trying to trap this bishop backfired horribly. It's not the first time I've done some kind of defensive rook drop like that. But yeah, there just wasn't a way to defend this. Yeah. That's why I had to drop the pawn, and then, yeah, my silver gets moved away, and there's no holding this back. I do manage to promote my rook, so I've only lost some time and some material, but... Um... Yeah, maybe so. It's just extremely hard to play at this point. Yeah, they're right. I played lots of odd moves. And yeah, I never finished my castle either. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So that was some... Yeah. I could see why they would disfavor that. Anything that allows me to start attacking with a heavy attack could be disfavorable. Um... Oh! That's a fun idea. It might not win, but it there's it offers a lot of chances at a time where um, my position's fragile. Um, yeah. What? Okay. I mean, it's legal. There's stuff to consider there. Yeah, um... I guess at this point we take this. Uh, so can't exactly take that. Yeah. Dang. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess there's always that fork. Yeah. There might be some nuance elsewhere, somewhere in one of these lines, but we're not going to find it in the time we've got remaining. Yeah, the silver recapture actually was not useful at all. I thought having a silver on the square could provide some value, but the gold here would have been so much better. So my silver drop was ridiculous. I don't really know what to offer. And I know they're in a hurry, too. And I've got another game upcoming, so it's fine.
Yeah, I know we usually run a bit deeper, and we could spend hours looking at this game. I'll try to offer some brief remarks about this here. So, during the game, I had considered this, which still maybe looks interesting, on account of avoiding a rook trade. And if the opponent wants to use the rook, they have to take my pawn, and we see now that I've spent two pawns in two turns... Not really achieving anything, but not losing anything either. But in the game, what we achieved instead was a rook trade, which might not have been a good thing, because now with the rook in hand, this attack just immediately starts up. And I couldn't find a way to continue my attack. This is a strong shape, nor could I find a way to like shut down that attack. So that's where this kind of falls apart. Um... I took the lance, but maybe taking the lance is wrong. Maybe I have time for this, but I don't think I do. And if I don't have time for that, then taking the knight is a mistake. Arguably, the, a lot of things I did here are all mistakes. So after this knight drop, I'm kind of hosed. So I was playing this, trying to win a piece. That's just, just greedy and stupid. This avoids a knight fork. This would have been much safer. Um, but I still have no attack. So this is still terrifying. Um, they could still cut off my bishop. And what can I do? I've not made any precaution against that. So you might argue, okay, well maybe it was the bishop drop that got me in all this trouble. Maybe. Maybe I just take this horse here instead and then I have two bishops and I don't know what to do with two bishops but maybe there's something. It's a world full of maybes, and these possibilities only happen when you do good things. Um, yeah, so back here, I think my rook drop was the first thing where I thought I had everything under control. I was so confident about this. And maybe I do have everything under control. Maybe I just play here. And somehow things work themselves out after this. This. This promotion. I take. Um, they take my lance and I promote. Maybe somehow things do work themselves out. I don't know how. But I've got both rooks and a bishop. So, there's some chances here. Maybe. This, I just got overwhelmed. And so I started playing emotionally. And we looked where that got us. At the very end, there is a mate. Which I didn't see until they played this. So. Oh well. Uh, it's a learning experience. Um, but yeah. Trying to play a defensive game against a very defensive shape makes some degree of sense, but then when I tried to collect some material, everything went to shit, so... I need to remember what to aim for. I should aim for this castle, and not to have so many hanging pieces, and pay a little bit more attention to what my opponent's doing. If I'd seen that they were going to collect a knight, maybe I could have earlier prepared for them, and had this pawn up here in advance. What would have been the timing for that? Probably I'd have to be starting to think about this knight hanging even as early as something like this. Um, now here I have to escape the rook. There's no question there. Here promoting the rook is kind of... I mean, it's me trying to build an initiative that never comes. So like back here I could consider that. Now all my pieces are hanging and this might... Anyway... I guess, ultimately, the first timing where it could have been reasonable um, for me to have tried to avoid this knight drop fork, first time it could have been this. Because this is the first time they could actually take the knight. So, anyway, 
Uh, well played. Thanks to Melkor for the game, and best of luck to everybody else playing this teaching ladder.